the Fox 10 News Now stream. I'm your host, Mike Pache, and I do have a special report for you. We all know that in the coming hours, we will be listening to the former FBI Director James Comey speak to Congress there, to the Senate Intelligence Committee. I've been reading uh, his statement that he put out just hours before he was going to address Congress, and it got me thinking about some stuff that is buried in this statement that I think we all as a country need to think about and uh, really maybe dive into, and let's break it down. So I'm going to break this all down for you right here on the News Now stream, because I know so many people are really talking about this. They're intrigued. They want to know exactly what is going to happen. And in the statement that he released that he is going to be talking about to Congress, he talks about a February 14th meeting with President Trump inside the Oval Office. And this is key, folks. This is key. He says, this is from the memo. The president then returns to the topic of Mike Flynn, saying he is a good guy and has been through a lot. He repeated that Flynn hadn't done anything wrong on his calls with the Russians, but had misled the vice president. He then said, I hope you can see your way clear of letting this go to letting Flynn go. He is a good guy. Now keep that in mind here. Here is the big phrase that you need to hear. I hope, he says. Comey says President Trump said, I hope you can see your way clear. That's very key, folks. That is a very key statement there. And what you got to think about is it's just... I hope. It's not a I demand, I believe, or I think you should. This was I hope. Sort of like I hope things can get better. I hope there is a way we could talk about this. Just a hope. Just a, a theory that you got to think about when they're going to be talking about this in just a couple of hours. You're all watching this on the News Now stream, and you do know that we will have special coverage right here. You don't have to go anywhere else. We have no commercials lined up. We never do commercials here on the News Now stream, just raw content. But I thought that was interesting out of this whole, and it's, it's, it's a very brief statement, too. A lot of people are building this up like this could go on for hours and hours and hours. And if I had to, if I had to guess, I would say anywhere from five to six hours, max, max. But people in the media, some are saying, no, this could go 12 to 13 hours. But with a statement this brief, it's only, the statement is only eight pages, seven pages. That's gonna take 20 minutes. You really think there's gonna be 13 hours of questioning from Congress? I don't know. In the past when James Comey Testified to Congress. He's pretty short with his answers. Now, of course, he is a former FBI director. It'll be interesting to see now how he breaks all of this down and talks about his memos that he created after the fact of having conversations with President Trump. He had nine total conversations with the president. We'll see what the questions are, but I wanted to just give you that brief analysis. I hope, President Trump said, I hope. So we, sh we should all zero in on that and really think about that uh, in the next coming hours and how big of an impact that could be. This could be a hearing where President Trump is totally, totally vindicated just because of that I hope was in the message. Watching the Fox 10 and News Now stream coming up in just hours away. The upcoming 